Servus. <lacht> is really remarkable and I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. I so deeply connected with it, especially your character as a husband and father. There's there are so many nuggets of wisdom that I wrote down like a whole notebook while I was watching season two. Um, like, like how not to do it, how not to be a <laughs> just uh, you know, so many things like uh, the best plans fall apart, the best equipment can fail, and it's it's not going to be okay sometimes, and that's okay. Was yeah. there a particular nugget of wisdom that you collected from this series, whether through your character or otherwise, that you just took a huge bite out of and found yourself put it into your life somehow? Um, I, I feel like I uh, learned something from every character in some way. You know, some something you. There's something that that uh, that you take with you from each each character, but you know, in particular, someone that you play over the course of several years, like like this is becoming. Um, yeah, I, I don't really think about it that way, but but maybe I should. <laughs> there is some real wisdom there, but uh, uh, you know, I, I think um, you know Ed. I mean, Ed suffers from some of the stuff that my dad kind of suffered from too, you know, like growing up with parents that, um, um, you know, probably uh, corrected behavior through violence. And, um, and, and I think that that sort of feeds a, uh, a restlessness of, 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 you know, as, as a parent, you know, he was, he was quick to, uh, I think quick to violence, quick to anger, um, and um, you know, I, I think I think that's something that uh, that I definitely don't want the cycle that I definitely don't want to perpetuate when I get kids. Um, so you know, some of the more negative aspects of of, of it, I think, were, were the lessons that I that I took with me. Oh, it gives me chills. Um, and first of all, thank you for that because it feels so rewarding to be on a show that resonates with parents and with people because sometimes I think you know the the number one on the call sheet we always say is space you know but but really on a smaller microcosm what's happening in space and in in the program is only a metaphor for what's happening within each character um you know we could say the loss of the moon and Karen's loss of her child um and and what we do after complete and utter defeat happens um you know there's there's a lot of lessons that i learned as well and uh one of my biggest lessons in season one was empathy mm -hmm. to truly lean in to try to understand somebody that was so different than me and who had different ideas and still find ways to love them yeah. um and i think empathy is a huge part of the human experience that people lack and maybe aren't always taught um or shown and I just remember thinking that Karen lived out of so much fear and it's why she so aggressively held on and fought and struggled and in the end lost. And in the second season, I think the thing I learned the most was to not judge the human experience of now trying and failing and, and you know, making mistakes, but all the while, those are the most important times. Those are usually when we learn the biggest lessons. Um, and for once, Karen is attempting to live in her truth or discover what her truth is. Um, and so the, I constantly learn lessons, not just from Karen and, and playing Karen, but from each character. Yeah, yeah. I, I would say you probably learn a, a great deal about sacrifice as well. I think that's what's most sh shocking to me after going through the first season, the second season. So how, how has it caused you to evaluate your own sacrifice that you make in your in the industry or as a creative, as an artist? Do you think about that? Has the show caused you to think differently about that? Well, you definitely have. You have the most beautiful questions. Um, yeah, you know, I think vulnerability takes some sacrifice it takes yes. being brave and, and and not being scared to fail 
and I was scared. I'm constantly scared on this show, and and it's it's a great fuel for for feeling um, of of showing up and doing justice to a storyline that people have actually experienced. And you know, maybe parts of it I haven't been able to experience, but um, sacrifices happen so much within within the the industry within our jobs. I think of how much time I spend away from my own family and things that I've missed, like my grandmother's funeral and, and the ways that we have to compartmentalize those parts. Um, and so I, I know that life doesn't come without sacrifice. And if anything, I just try to use those moments and, and, you know, channel them through the character. Well, I, I think that when you're portraying something like, you know, when you're portraying the loss of a child, um, it, I take those kind of things very seriously as a, out of respect for people that have suffered that, you know, I, I, I would imagine that if you have suffered the loss of a child, it, it would be very di difficult to watch something that is about that. But if there was ever anyone that, 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 you know, would still watch a, a show that, that has that as, as a, as a part of it. I would feel a huge obligation to uh, to to you know go at the the utmost of my capabilities to portray that truthfully. Um, so so you know it, that was a huge challenge. That and and it, and it and it's also it was during the you know the end of the the first season. But then also you know we jumped ten years into the uh, you know past that in the second season. And I think when you have gone through that you're always going to be uh, before and after that incident. You're always going to be defined by that as, as a person moving forward. Those wounds don't heal. They, you know, you, you, um, you move on, but it's always there. And um, yeah. So that, you know, it, it was, it was a very, it was very difficult to, uh, to portray that. And, um, but I was lucky enough to have a, an incredible scene partner in, in Chantel. Mm -hmm. Van Santen, who, who who plays my wife Karen Baldwin in this, and you know she has an incredible, immense capability to to portray these kind of strong emotions. So so it it really you know triggers you as well when when those kind of emotional vibrations are in the room and are real, and 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 you just kind of go over. It's a when when you're playing these kind of feelings, it's uh you have to lose control a little bit to get there. And, sure. and that's not easy to do. Uh, for me, it's not easy. And um, and having someone that is there with you in that space really helps. So so we were able to together kind of lose control in those emotions and, and to really experience something that was, uh, you know, very, that felt very deep. Um, and um, yeah. So, so, you know, so that, that was, that was something that, that, that felt very important, you know, to be able to, to do that in a, in a believable way. Yeah. Well, it paid off. Uh, we're out of time, but thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. Uh, nice to talk to you too. Maybe we'll uh, get more time next time. Hope so. All right. Take it easy. All right. Take oh, of course. It was such a pleasure talking with you. Thank you for such insightful questions. Oh, no problem. All right. Have a good rest of your day. Okay. You too. Thanks. Right.